Today, the Valley Transportation Authority shed new light into the work background of accused mass murderer Sam Cassidy. The documents show Cassidy had what one expert says is a high number of contacts with human resources. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary has details. VTA officials say there are no records in accused gunman Sam Cassidy's personnel file showing disciplinary action for threatening behavior. But the 20-year employee was involved in four separate incidents spanning 16 months that required management involvement. I would say that's more than normal, certainly. I think uh, perhaps one off-handed incident, perhaps, or two um, at an extreme would be normal, but I think four would be something to look at. The two most egregious conflicts took place six months apart. In July 2019, Cassidy was suspended without pay for two days. VTA officials say he refused to follow policy for signing out a radio used for work. In January of 2020, Cassidy got into a verbal altercation with another employee. The incident was reported, and a second employee told a manager, quote, he scares me. If someone was to go postal, it'd be him. Well, that would be something worthy of looking into. And I don't know, frankly, if the VTA did look into it. That would be a warning sign to me. That would be a reason for concern. May 26th, Sam Cassidy allegedly shot and killed nine co-workers at the VTA Guadalupe light rail yard. He took his own life as sheriff's deputies and San Jose police officers approached him. VTA officials say there was nothing in the 57-year-old's file to support concern over the go postal comment. The matter was ultimately referred back to Cassidy's department manager. Dr. Robert Albright, who co-authored a book on workplace conflict resolution, says violence can happen after a pattern or a string of encounters. Workplace violence isn't typically something that happens on an impulse, i.e. in one day. It's more of a process. The two other HR incidents were minor, one for refusing to attend a mandatory training session, another for an unexcused leave. VTA officials say they're continuing to investigate the Go Postal verbal altercation incident to see if there are more relevant documents to review. In San Jose, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News.